This little stray is a three-year-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross, but he won't go missing again. He's been painlessly injected with a microchip the size of a grain of rice. Microchipped? Yay! There we go. It's very important should a dog be a dangerous dog and, and show um, dangerous dog uh, behaviour that we're able to link that dog back to the owner. It's the owner really that should be responsible for the actions of the dogs. Compulsory microchipping is just one of the new measures the government wants to introduce, along with mandatory insurance for dog owners and anti-social behaviour orders for owners who engage in this sort of thing. <laughs> the proposed new laws won't help five-year-old Reese Webb. He's been left scarred after being mauled by a Rottweiler in a local park. Reese needed over 120 stitches after the dog effectively scalped him. The dog was put down, but the owner went unpunished. If obviously the law's put in place where there is more force, to be able to take a dog off the owner if they think it's not suitable, definitely. Definitely, it can only be a good thing, can't it? More than 100 people a week are now treated in hospital after dog attacks. That's a rise of 70% in the past decade. Last year, over 5,000 incidents were reported. In London alone, the number of dangerous dog cases going to court has increased 2,000% over the last six years. At this RSPCA animal hospital, they've just taken in two new pit bull strays, presumably too dangerous for their owners to cope with. It's a familiar story here. In this animal hospital alone, they see three or four dogfight victims and six or seven dangerous breeds every day. Dangerous dogs are overwhelmingly an urban problem. In London last year, police seized 900 of them. And perhaps that's why not all dog owners are thrilled with the proposed new laws. As breeders gather ahead of the Crufts Dog Show, many said they liked the idea of microchipping, but not of insurance. People that, like myself, we've not done anything wrong. We love our dogs, we love them dearly. I know lots and lots of people the same, and they're no trouble at all. Everyone seems to think that dangerous dogs are a problem, but we're still no closer to agreeing on a solution. Holly Williams, Sky News.